Dietary Restrictions Explained Dietary restrictions can be very confusing. In this lesson, we will do a general overview of six common dietary requests, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, nut-free, vegetarian, and vegan. We will talk about which foods are included, or excluded in each one, as well as common misconceptions. To help illustrate our lesson we have chosen 48 ingredients, that are often part of the menu, to show what each diet can, and cannot, have. Obviously we are not able to include every possible food, but this should be enough to help you visualize the different diets. Our first diet is gluten-free. People who are gluten-free cannot have any products made from wheat, rye, barley, or regular oats. Wheat-containing foods such as bread, breadcrumbs, and pasta, must be eliminated. Barley is found in malt, Vegemite, and beer, and those are off-limits as well. Many sauces include wheat or barley as an ingredient. Common ones include soy sauce, oyster sauce, teriyaki sauce, and Worcestershire sauce. People who are on a gluten-free diet can have lots of other foods. Items in the red circle need to be eliminated. But everything outside of the red circle is generally fine. A common misunderstanding about gluten-free, is that it excludes carbohydrates and dairy. This is not true. As you can see, foods such as potato, rice, and corn, can be included. Additionally, meat, eggs, milk, and nuts, are also safe ingredients. The dairy-free diet, must eliminate any ingredient that comes from a cow, such as milk, butter, cheese, yogurt, or sour cream. Notice, that eggs are not shown here. Eggs are often mistaken for dairy, but they are laid by birds, and they do not come from a cow. Again, despite a few ingredients that need to be excluded, people who are dairy-free can eat many more. As we just mentioned, eggs are safe for people who are dairy-free. You may want to note that mayonnaise is dairy-free because it is made from eggs and oil. Similarly coconut milk is also dairy-free. Some people have an allergy, or intolerance to soy. They must eliminate things such as soy sauce, tofu, tempeh, edamame, and anything that contains soy flour. Soy sauce is confusing. People who are soy-free will eliminate it because it contains soy, but people who are gluten-free will eliminate it because it contains wheat. Again, there are many other good options that soy-free people can safely eat. Nut allergies can be very serious, and life-threatening. Nut-free diets can include peanuts, tree nuts, or both. A peanut-free diet must eliminate peanuts, peanut butter and anything that may have peanuts as an ingredient. Tree nut allergies are slightly different and include almonds, Brazil nuts, cashews, hazelnuts, pecans, pistachios, and walnuts. Coconuts are in the tree nut family, although, they are not as common as an allergen. Sesame is another serious allergen. This includes, sesame oil and sesame seeds. These tend to be three separate allergies. Some people with a peanut allergy can eat tree nuts, and vice versa. If you are preparing, or providing food for anyone with a peanut, tree nut, or sesame allergy, it is very important, to get the information directly from them, as to what they can, and cannot have. As you might expect, there are many other safe foods available for people who are peanut, tree nut, or sesame free. The vegetarian diet eliminates meat. In general anything with a heartbeat is off limits. In addition to the usual suspects, such as chicken, beef, pork, fish, and shellfish, vegetarians also eliminate foods that includes meat as an ingredient. Such as oyster sauce, fish sauce, or chicken broth. The vegetarian diet can have dairy and eggs. Vegetarians also eat grains, vegetables, and lots of other ingredients. A vegan diet takes the vegetarian diet one step further. It eliminates all meat and also any food that comes from an animal. It combines a vegetarian diet with a dairy-free diet and excludes animal products, such as eggs and honey. A common term for vegan diet is, plant-based. Out of all the diets we've covered, vegan diets eliminate more food than the others. In a plant-based diet, gluten is a common substitute for meat. And, nuts are commonly used to replace dairy. Vegan and gluten-free are often confused. They have very different restrictions, that do not overlap. Out of the selection of ingredients, we are using for this lesson, only oyster sauce, is eliminated in both diets. Vegan diets tend to include a lot of gluten-containing foods, while gluten-free diets, tend to include meat, dairy, and eggs. Sometimes, people have more than one dietary restriction. For example, it is common for people newly diagnosed with celiac disease, to need to be dairy-free, in addition to being gluten-free, as their gut heals. People who are gluten and dairy-free, must eliminate all wheat, rye, barley, and regular oats. 
as well as, milk, butter, cheese, and any dairy products. Some people who are gluten-free are also vegetarian, they eliminate meat as well as gluten-containing products. Finally, gluten-free and vegan, is one of the most limiting diets. Plant-based foods that are popular in vegan dishes, often contain gluten as an ingredient. When gluten is removed from the diet as well, there are fewer ingredients to choose from. To sum up this lesson, the six dietary restrictions we have covered, each have their own unique group of ingredients to eliminate. It may be challenging to remember which ingredients are included, or eliminated, in each diet. For easy reference, we have created an illustrated guide that you can download, and print out. For more information on gluten-free food preparation, recipes, and general education and awareness, please visit us at internationalglutenfree.com. Please like and subscribe.